Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how I made this long sleeve turtleneck bodycon along with this long sleeve turtleneck gathered dress for my mini me. If you're interested in how I achieve these looks please stay tuned. Alright guys let's get started. For my materials, I have about two yards of this stretch knit fabric. For pattern making, I have this long sleeve bodycon dress and a long sleeve toddler tee. For tools, I use measuring tape, scissors, and pins. So I went ahead and laid out my fabric on a double fold. And what that means is you're going to fold your fabric over once and then twice and then lay it out nice and smooth. I took my dress and laid it out front facing up and folded that in half. Then I placed it over the fold on the fabric. Then I flipped the sleeves of the dress on the other side and then found the arm seam and then went ahead and pinned that down. Next, I went ahead and pulled the fabric further up. Since the original dress was a little too short, I went ahead and added about 15 inches to make the dress a little longer. From that point, I just cut straight across the fabric and then I set this fabric aside for later. So then I went ahead and pulled the fabric back down and straightened that out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut around the dress with my half inch seam allowance. After cutting, I went ahead and removed the pins and the dress. And now I have the front and back piece for my dress. Again, I'm going to set this aside for later. Here I have the fabric that I set aside earlier. And what I did was just open that up and take one end and folded that into the center. And then I took the end again and folded that into the center again. And now I have fabric on a double fold. Next, I took the sleeve to the dress and placed that over the fold. I flipped the dress over onto the other side of the sleeve and then went ahead and pinned the arm seam down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut around the sleeve with a half inch seam allowance. And I also kept the extra length at the end. After cutting, I went ahead and removed the extra fabric and set that aside. Then I removed the pins and the dress. And remember, because we cut on a double fold, we now have two sleeves for our dress. Now here I have extra fabric from the dress cutout from earlier. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And this fabric is on a fold. So I took the top part and folded that down. Took the toddler tee, folded that in half, and placed that over the fold folded the toddler tee in half, and then went ahead and cut straight across. I took the remaining fabric to set that aside, 
folded the t-shirt back down, took the sleeves, folded them back, and pinned down the arm seam. Then I went ahead and cut around the t-shirt with the half inch seam allowance. And now I have the front and back piece to the top part of the toddler dress. And went ahead and set that aside. Then I took the remainder of the fabric, folded that in half, then placed the sleeve of the shirt over the fold, flipped the t-shirt over on the other side of the sleeve, and then I found the curve on the shoulder sleeve, then went ahead and cut around with the half inch seam allowance. And now I have two sleeves for the dress. Now this is the other half of the remaining fabric that I used to cut the sleeves of my dress. And that's also folded in half. Here I'm just cutting the ends off evenly. And I'm also cutting open the fold. And this is going to be the front and back piece for our gathered skirt for the toddler dress. Alright, so now I have all the main pieces for my dress and for Minnie's dress to start pinning and sewing. Starting with my dress, I went ahead and separated the front and back piece. Then I placed the back of the dress front facing up and the top of the dress front facing down and then went ahead and pinned the shoulders together. And now that's ready to sew. And here I just follow the same steps for the front and back piece of the top of the toddler dress. Now remember I am working with a stretch knit fabric, so I'm going to go ahead and set my machine on a zigzag stitch. So here's my dress after I've sewn the shoulders down. And now I'm just going to take one of those sleeves and then fold that in half to find the center point. And then I match that up with the seam on the shoulder. And then went ahead and pinned that down. And then after pinning that down, I went ahead and pinned the rest of the sleeve to the arm. So after you pin one arm down, you're going to do that twice for the other. So again, I'm following the same steps that I did to attach the sleeves to the top of the toddler dress. After I pinned down one side, I went ahead and did that twice for the other side. So I went ahead and sewed the sleeves on off camera and this is what it looks like on the inside. Next I took the dress and flipped it inside out, attached both the underarm seams and then pinned those together. After pinning, I went ahead and sewed all the way down, starting from the very top of the sleeve all the way down to the bottom of the dress on both sides. Then I went ahead and followed those same steps for the top of my mini's dress. So 
So here's the top of the toddler dress with the sleeves and the sides sewn down. And to make the gathered skirt for the bottom part of the dress, I went ahead and took those two pieces of fabric that I cut evenly earlier, separated those, and placed the bottom front facing up and the top front facing down. Then I sewed the sides down and then hemmed the bottom of the skirt. So I'm gonna set my machine on a base stitch that's gonna allow me to gather the skirt. And with that, I'm gonna go back to the straight stitch and then I'm going to elongate the width of the stitch. And now I'm ready to sew. Now before I start sewing, I went ahead and pulled the thread long enough for me to hold as I pull to gather the skirt for later. You'll see what I mean when I get to that part. Now after pulling the thread, I went ahead and continued sewing the base stitch. Now at the end of the base stitch, I went ahead and pulled that thread again before cutting. Now I'll be able to pull and gather from both ends. Here I have two pieces of thread at one end of the skirt, one in the front and one in the back, and I just grab the one in the front and begin pulling and gathering and spreading evenly throughout the skirt. After continue gathering, I made sure that I gathered enough to match the waist length of the top of the dress. Then I took the top of the dress that's right side out and placed that inside of the skirt that's inside out and took the side seam of the shirt and matched it with the side seam of the dress and pinned that side down. And then I found the other side seam of the shirt and the other side seam of the skirt and pinned that down. And then from there, I went ahead and pinned the skirt evenly around. And now it's ready to sew. And here's the dress after the skirt's been sewn on. So now I'm going to take both dresses and I'm going to measure the neckline for the turtlenecks. Now here I have some extra fabric that I folded down and from that fold I measured the neckline for my dress and then went ahead and cut that out and then I did the same for the toddler dress. Also for the width, I went ahead and doubled that measurement because after they've been sewn down, they will be folded in half. So after I'm done cutting, I went ahead and sewed those sides down. After sewing the side down, I took the seams of the turtleneck and folded those in half onto each other and continued folding the turtleneck in half. Find that seam, pin it onto the seam of the shoulder, then you're going to find the center point on the other side of the turtleneck and pin that onto the other side of the shoulder seam. And then I went ahead and followed those same exact steps to attach the turtleneck to the toddler dress. And now those are ready to sew. So to sew the turtlenecks on a little easier, I removed my table attachment and went ahead and pulled through the neck hole and continued sewing from that point.
using both of the turtlenecks on each dress, I went ahead and hemmed the end of the sleeves on both dresses and hemmed the bottom of my skirt. And after doing that, the dresses are complete. 